We're following an ongoing investigation into a deadly Brownsburg shooting. Police say it's the result of a transaction gone wrong. We'll have the latest information from police and who they're currently searching for. Do you know someone who is sick right now? Well, you're not the only one. Health officials say they're seeing the highest number of doctor visits for the flu in a decade. The COVID protocols some schools are bringing back to stop the virus from spreading. Plus, a look at how the flu is taking over the state. Celine Dion speaks out after being diagnosed with a rare disorder. In your top five at five, what this means for upcoming performances. Fox 59 Morning News at 5 starts right now. From Indiana's number one news source, this is Fox 59 Morning News. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Well, it's hard to believe, but it is 16 days before Christmas and the festive residents there in Arizona are dressing up in Santa hats, lights, and even the Cousin Eddie costume. Here's the catch. They drive around decked out in golf carts. They go around to the retirement communities singing and spreading the joy of Christmas to homebound residents. That's nice. Golf carts are a big thing in Arizona, so yes. I'm not surprised. <laughs> I know. You'll see a lot of people driving them to the grocery store. It's like, and get in out of the way. And of Florida. Yeah, mm -hmm. get out of the way. <laughs> Good morning. I'm Cameron Riddle in for Scott Jones. Thanks for joining us. And I'm Lindy Thaxton. Jim O'Brien's here as well. 16 days. It's like I woke up this morning and had a bit of a like panic as far as some gifts go. Yeah. I'm, I'm still having trouble writing December. I keep writing November. <laughs> Wait till you have to do 2023. 23. I yeah. know. That usually um, gets you. Yeah. Uh, but a lot of you don't write checks anymore. I'm still old school. I still yeah, write like one or, one or two a month now. I've, I'm down to... Uh, a little bit uh, of a, a smaller amount now. Really? But, I'm uh, pretty sure we've needed to order checks literally like eight or nine months. Yeah. Yeah. We just so don't use them. Yeah, definitely don't. How about you, Cameron? Do you I write do checks? I write or? checks. I'm Cash App. I'm Zell. I'm you're, all. You're all that. Yes. All right. Get it. Take your money immediately. All right. Good <laughs> enough, guys. Hey, okay. 501 heading out. Uh, we're off uh, to a mainly dry start. There is a touch of haze out there, Apache fog. Uh, still to begin our morning, we're under a half mile out in Richmond in the terms of visibility, so there is some thicker spots out there. Uh, the radar mainly dry here in downtown, but even with the haze around, it just feels damp. Of course, we had that rain yesterday, and we're tracking additional rain for today. In fact, you can see a few of those showers now just edging in uh, to the western parts of the Indiana state line coming in from Illinois, still tracking rain and snow, by the way, out towards Iowa. Uh, that headed into Wisconsin at this hour, but some of that rainfall out of Illinois and St. Louis will be headed here throughout the day. Not a huge amount of rain, but certainly pesky showers will remain. Temps, not bad. We're at 40 here in downtown, but not much of a rise here. Uh, pretty much what we've had all week long. Uh, the gray skies dominate and a high today that tops out at 46 degrees. All right, let's talk traffic now. We do have our first accident here of the morning. That's on the city's southwest side. We'll take you down. Uh, towards uh, areas of 465 just west. So it's not on the interstate. It's at Lambert Street and Sigsby Street. So that crash right there this morning. Again, not on any major arteries. Certainly good news there. Uh, but again, we'll keep you posted on any issues throughout the morning. As you can see, Greenwood northbound uh, looks like coming out of Greenwood. Speed's moving at 60 mi 69 miles an hour. And then also up towards the north side, looks like 31, 62 miles an hour, uh, basically from Carmel down to 465. Guys. Jim, thank you. We are following breaking news out of Brownsburg. Authorities say there was a transaction gone wrong, and that has led to a man being fatally shot. Authorities there say the transaction uh, gone wrong. As we said, the man died. Our Michael Van Skoik is live at the scene with all we know so far. Morning, Michael. Hey, good morning, guys. Uh, we've now moved to the police station just a little bit ago. That scene cleared uh, just, just a few minutes ago here. Uh, but we do have some new information from police. They've now confirmed they're looking for a stolen vehicle uh, with those suspects, of course. Uh, just a recap here from what police have shared with us. Now, this incident happening just down the road from a couple of elementary schools, a middle school at Cardinal Park. Now, police responded just after 11 p.m. for a 
person shot. They say that man was shot to death and they believe a transaction went wrong leading to that incident there, but they did not specify the type of transaction. A transaction, of course, now we're working to learn more about that. Meanwhile, it is an active investigation and police say they have at least one witness. They also have two suspects, a driver and a man spotted on scene. A witness helped spot those people. Again, looking for a stolen vehicle now. Uh, that car they're looking for, they say, um, is is a that stolen car that they're looking for is a four-door vehicle with tinted windows a silver car went southbound on Hornaday uh, witnesses saw that suspect they described the person as tall about 18 to 20 years old long lighter color dreadlocks wearing a red and black sweatshirt now as far as the vehicle goes no specific markings that they know of to help better identify the getaway vehicle working to get license information from from police right now. Of course, they said they'll also be providing updates throughout the morning as they get new information. And right now they're asking anyone who does have any information or has any uh, and encounters with these these folks here that they've described they are asking them to call Hendricks County Communication Center or the Brownsburg Investigations Division now of course right now waiting on new details from police and we'll get the, get those to you quickly online and on air for now in Brownsburg Michael Van Skoik Fox 59 News Michael thank you IMPD confirms it is investigating the death of a man on the east side as a homicide, police found a man unresponsive inside of a home on North Euclid yesterday morning while responding to an unrelated incident. The man had gunshot injuries and was pronounced dead. If you know anything about this crime, call Crime Stoppers. Their number is 317-262-TIPS. An IPS officer went to the hospital after an altercation at Arsenal Tech High School. Indianapolis Public School says there was an altercation between several students, and while responding, the officer was hurt. A man is wanted out of Kokomo in connection to a stabbing. Police are looking for a 36-year-old man named Halden Totten. He's accused of stabbing a 55-year-old man multiple times Monday night. Well, when police got to the scene, Totten was also injured, and so they didn't think he was a suspect at the time. Both men were taken to the hospital. The 55-year-old, still in the hospital, in critical but stable condition, Totten was released, and then police later identified him as the suspect. He was wanted for attempted murder. There is some new information in the Delphi murders investigation. Richard Allen's defense team just filed a new motion to discuss getting public funding for his defense. Allen is accused of, of killing Abby Williams and Libby German in Delphi. Legal experts say the filing is common in these cases. The motion does not say how much funding Allen is requesting for his defense. It just states that the defense team needs additional funds for investigations and expert witnesses. The lawyers are also asking any filings pertaining to the request for funds to be kept sealed. The judge now has to decide if she will grant this motion as well. The next hearing is scheduled for January 13th. It will focus on the motion for a gag order and the motion to change venues. Uh, two women are taking legal action against Apple. How the new lawsuits and the high se highlights security concerns over one of its products. She's safe. She's on a plane. She's on her way home. WNBA star Brittany Griner could be back in the U.S. at any moment. We're watching for this. This happened after a prisoner swap with Russia yesterday. We'll have details on the swap as another American is still waiting to come home. And yeah, we're tracking right now through Illinois. Some of that energy headed here. It will be a little wet at times throughout the day. Be sure to grab that umbrella. Uh, another fairly mild day, though, here to begin our Friday and heading into the weekend. Is there any rain on the way Saturday and Sunday? I'll let you know coming up. We all know that Big Blue is my secret weapon, but when we're really dissecting an incoming storm, we turn to the brain. This is our forecasting nerve system, overflowing with handwritten weather data from the past quarter century. I use this to compare notes with our latest weather technology. 
So you know when a major system will target your neighborhood, how it could impact the rest of your week, and if it's going to shatter the record books. You can't get accuracy like this anywhere else. There's never been a better time to get away with a great deal on the Hyundai you've always wanted. With America's best warranty and up to three years complimentary maintenance. It's your journey. Own every mile at the Hyundai Getaway Sales Event. Hurry in to get our best deals of the season. Get in and get away. Now get 0% APR plus 500 bonus cash with no payments for 90 days on our most popular models. Visit your local Hyundai dealer today. Twas the fight before Christmas and all through the house. Everyone was stirring, even the spouse. But then from the table there came such a scent. With Hormel Black Label Bacon, away tension went. WeatherTech. Auto. Home. Pet. Find your fit at WeatherTech.com. By the time this NFL fan is finished drinking his Pepsi, you'll be 15 seconds closer to game time. Football watching. Better with Pepsi. Sky 59 is powered by Fiesel. No need for a technician to come into your home. Lifetime warranty plus no payments for 12 months. Visit FieselInc.com. Get to Gordon Food Service Store. Deals like this come but once a year. Get USDA Choice Cooked Prime Rib for $12.99 a pound. And Beef Meatballs, $12.99 for a 5-pound bag. Cooked shrimp are only $6.99. Or a cocktail shrimp ring with sauce is $16.99. Macaroni and cheese is $12.99, plus holiday cookie dough, only $12.99. Order online for free same-day pickup. Gordon Food Service Store, gfsstore.com. Respectful, simple, sensible Indiana funeral care. Welcome back. WNBA star Brittany Griner is free and expected back to the U.S. early this morning. Russian officials released her from prison in exchange for convicted arms dealer Victor Bout. This video from the Kremlin shows the moment the exchange happened at the Abu Dhabi airport. Griner's in the red jacket. Uh, Griner was arrested in February in Moscow for carrying vape cartridges with cannabis oil. She faced a nine-year sentence. President Biden made the announcement along with Griner's family at the White House. Brittany's wife said she's grateful after a long process. I'm just standing here um, overwhelmed with emotions, but the most important emotion that I have right now is just sincere gratitude um, for President Biden. Weapons dealer Victor Bout is known by the nickname Merchant of Death. He was convicted and sentenced to 25 years in prison for a plot that would sell arms that would kill Americans. The Biden administration faced criticism for what was called an uneven exchange. Some say Biden let Vladimir Putin get the better deal. The Biden administration is also being criticized for leaving other Americans behind. Former Marine Paul Whelan has been detained there since 2018. He's serving a 16-year sentence. His family says they did have advance notice of the trade. For whatever reason, Paul is, is beyond what the Russian government has been able to um, tag a potential con concession for. Um, and I think, I think Brittany Griner shouldn't spend a, a, a single day. No, no wrongful detainee should spend a single day more in detention than they have to. The president says Russia is treating Whalen's case differently. They are still working to bring him and other Americans home. The U.S. House passes landmark legislation federally protecting same-sex and interracial marriages. The Respect for Marriage Act repeals the 1996 Defense of Marriage Act. The 1996 Act refused to recognize same-sex marriages performed in other states and federally defined marriage as between a man and a woman. President Biden is expected to sign the bill into law. The U.S. House also passes a defense bill that would end the coronavirus vaccine mandate for the military. That measure is part of the $858 billion national defense funding bill. It now goes to the Senate and is expected to easily pass. Also part of that bill is Indiana Congressman Andre Carson's push for duck boat safety improvements. This effort started in 2018 when 17 people were killed in a duck boat accident in Missouri. They included nine members of the Coleman family from right here in Indianapolis. 
The Duck Boat Safety Improvement Act requires new safety measures. This includes more monitoring of severe weather, stronger crew and safety training and certification, and requiring personal flotation devices. 513 and two women are suing Apple over the company's air tags. They say their previous romantic partners used the devices to track their location, which potentially put their safety at risk. One of the women says her ex boyfriend placed an air tag <clears throat> excuse me, into the wheel well of a tire on her car and then colored it with a Sharpie to disguise it. And then the other woman says her ex husband, who'd been harassing her about where she was going, put an air tag in her child's backpack. Well, the devices are meant to help you find your belongings if you misplace them, but law enforcement says using them to track people is not all that uncommon. There could be a host of reasons that this thing is useful, but based on my background in law enforcement and what I do now, I can't help but think that most people are buying these thinking that they may have to track someone. Well, earlier this year, Apple added more safeguards to the AirTag to try to cut down on unwanted tracking. Apple has not commented on the lawsuit. Lindy, that lawsuit is happening at the same time Apple unveils plans to amp up security on its iCloud service. The company says it will allow users to secure pictures and notes stored on its iCloud service more tightly. They will also require physical security keys that will then be used when a user is logging in from a new device. The new options are particularly aimed at journalists, celebrities, politicians, and other high-profile individuals targeted frequently by hackers. U.S. users will be able to access and activate the free advanced data protection for their iCloud storage by the end of the year. Hmm. No one understands the cloud. The, no one understands I, I still don't get it. <laughs> well. <laughs> it, it's, uh, you know, never yeah, mind. See, I mean, exactly. it is, yeah. no one gets it. <laughs> you got it out there. It, it's just out there, and we don't know what's going on with right, the I just can't quite bring it back in. <laughs> I, I, you know, I, I don't, don't know. trust it. <clears throat> right? I just, yeah. yeah. It's just kind of floating mm -hmm. over you. And Jim, it doesn't even pop up on your radar. <laughs> right, exactly. I don't even see it out there on the satellite. All right, let's show you what's happening out there right now, guys. Hey, a touch of haze out there to begin our morning. Uh, temperatures have not been moving much from the afternoon highs to the morning lows due to the cloudy skies. It has been a gray week here. Uh, 40s yesterday, basically mid 40s, and then you can see here uh, we're down to about 40 here in downtown. So we haven't moved much. We're talking like a six. Maybe seven degree swing from the overnights to the afternoon highs. And of course, that haze and patchy fog continues out there as well. Nothing too thick, no delays at this hour. We'll continue to watch, but no advisories are in effect. We're currently at 40 here in downtown and east wind at 13 miles an hour. So that wind is up a little bit. That's adding to the chill, but it's also keeping the fog from getting too thick here in downtown. We're at 40 out at the airport, 39 at Geist, the same in Greenfield, and 40 degrees, our current reading, in Greenwood. Now, we are tracking rain and snow out towards the west. Anything that gets here later on today uh, could arrive here by late morning on through the afternoon. We'll have these shower chances. Should be all rain for today with temperatures right around in the mid to lower 40s. And we're tracking rainfall already here out towards our western county. Snow flying up through Minnesota. Also into Iowa, Wisconsin, and northern Illinois at this time. So uh, more snowfall there, just plain old rain here. Keep the umbrella handy. Certainly you can see a shower chance uh, by late morning here into the afternoon. So we're going to keep at least the shower chances going. There are indications the air does dry out a little bit later on tonight. So I think any Friday night plans uh, should be mainly dry here. Temperatures this afternoon only climbing, it looks like, into the middle 40s, which is still above average for this time of the year. As we head into later on tonight, if you're going to be heading out to the Indiana State Fairgrounds to check out on some of these Christmas lights, we'll have temperatures by 10 o'clock tonight at 44, back down pretty much to 40 degrees early tomorrow morning. Uh, the weekend does look mainly dry. The only shower chance we have for the entire weekend is Saturday evening. Uh, widely scattered, uh, as you can certainly see here heading into the evening. We could see one or two showers around or maybe a few passing sprinkles. This is a pretty weak chance. Uh, it will come on through here. Sunday still looks dry. Uh, temps for the weekend in the mid 40s. So without the sunshine, you really can't warm up a whole bunch. 
And with the clouds hanging around, you can't drop down too much in the overnight. Uh, looks like our best chance of sunshine does get in here on Monday. So we could brighten things up on Monday. Better enjoy because clouds increase on Tuesday and rain chances are back in here Wednesday and into Thursday. So no big snows here in the forecast. All right, a look at traffic outside right now. We're getting a little bit more action out there. I mentioned that one accident here on the city southwest side. It's away from 465, so it's not on the interstate. It's at Lambert Street. Also traveling in from uh, basically Greenwood uh, into downtown looks good. Speed's moving at 68 miles an hour. No major issues there or on the city's north side as well. Looking good from 31 to 465 at this time. We'll talk more. It looks like we've got another new accident. We'll have an update on that coming up here in a few minutes. Thank you, Jim. Singer Celine Dion cancels upcoming performances and her tour. It's due to a rare neurological disorder what stiff person syndrome prevents her from doing a little girl in California writes a letter to animal control asking if she can keep a unicorn in her backyard the response from officers next